many designers have sample sales offering markdown mark down items, let's try that again, to a select group of women. Five years ago, Alexis Maybank and Alexandra Wilkes Wilson took that concept to the internet with Guilt Group. Now the company does more e-business than anyone but Amazon. And now the Guilt Girls have written a memoir called By Invitation Only, and we're happy to have them. They answered our invitation to join yes. us in Studio 57. Yes. And guilty, as many of many guilt shoppers <laughs> will say. For people, though, who don't know what guilt is, tell us exactly what this website is. So guilt.com guilt offers access online to luxury products, designer goods, items for the home, services in a really exciting format and usually prices from 60 to 70 percent off. That's the key. It's like a sample sale online. It's like a sample sale, but not everyone knows what a sample sale is. But, but you set it up, guys, so that people feel exclusive when they're doing it. Just, but just by what Erica said, by invitation only, my daughter, who's 25, raves about guilt. Mm -hmm. Because number one, you have flash sales, and you give us a time when you go on at noon, and you only have X amount of time to get these deals. Was that part of the fun, making us want something that we thought, okay, I really want to get it, and I only have an X amount of time to get it? What was really different about shopping online when we started nearly five years ago was the fact that we were changing out our virtual store every single day. We have 20 new sales that go live every day. So you can never come to our store twice and find the same inventory. It's fresh always. And you just, yeah, so you never restock, which can be frustrating <laughs> to some people. But it is that, as Gail mentioned, it's that sort of exclusivity mm -hmm. that people really like. But as you're getting so big, you have how many? Shoppers now? Over five million members. Over five yeah. Is it hard to keep it, keep that, ex that, that feeling of exclusivity for people? Most of our membership still comes in through an invitation from a friend, mm -hmm. although you can come in and request one directly at our website. And uh, what we have really invested in a lot is anticipating what each customer want, will want to see, what brands will most in interest them, so that we're pairing that up for them directly when they come into the site. But I was fascinated by the story of the two A's. Yes. Alexandra is the go-getter, Alexis is the risk-taker, and your friends, and people always say you shouldn't work with your friends. <laughs> that may not work out so well. It depends on the friend. That I think is it, so it, true. And it, it depends on the context of the friendship. So we met in college, and then we really at, became... At Wake College, Harvard Business School. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Please we met, continue. We, we met there as <laughs> undergrads, and then in business school, we became really best of friends. So we were both interested in business and finance, and um, Alexis had a technology background. I was always really interested in retail and luxury, and, and we joined forces with our co-founders. But not all friends should work together. Yes. And what's important to keep in mind is... Not not just that skill set balance, but a personality balance between yes. the two of you. If one sees the big tip picture and not all the details, make sure the other can do what you cannot do. You've actually got a checklist, too. You have a lot of checklists yes. in the book, but a checklist to make sure it's almost like pre-marriage counseling yes. Yes. that you need That's to go through before you decide if we're going to do business together. Are you surprised that it's worked out as well? Because you look at the numbers, and the numbers are really staggering mm -hmm. at how well Guilt Group is doing. Well, today we have uh, nearly a thousand employees in a, a couple different countries, in fact. Um, we sell over a half billion dollars of merchandise on the website. Uh, we partner with over 6,000 brands across our business, and this happened all in a handful of years. So there'd be quarters where we were hiring more new people than already were at the company, and managing that hyper growth is challenging. And now, Alexandra, you're both mothers and moms. You're now married, both of you. <laughs> We're, we're balancing it all, uh, marriages, um, children, and, uh, and of course a job that, that we love. I think it'd be really tough to do the work-life balance mm -hmm. if you didn't love uh, what you do professionally. And if you didn't have a good partner both at home and, and at work. Um, really quickly, we have to, you're valued at what, a billion dollars? So everybody wants to know, any chance, especially having spent some time in Silicon Valley dealing with, with mm -hmm. tech IPOs, any chance of, of going public? There's always the possibility, and we'll look at it in 2013. I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be okay, Alexis? Sure, we're considering it. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for having Job us. Job well done. Us. Job well done.